I'm Wes Tuttleston. I'm the CEO of your National Association of Drug Corps Professionals, and welcome to the celebration of the 25th anniversary of the first drug court in Miami-Dade County, Florida. Let me hear you. I need a sign. Let me know you're here. Our love and lines are being crossed throughout the atmosphere. I need to know things are gonna look up. I feel us drowning in a sea spin from a cup. For all he has done and is gonna continue to do to tell your story, it is my honor to present Nick Gilley the 2014 National Media Award. Nick. From the words that I said now. Tim, this Founders Award is given to you on behalf of all the humanity, the Miami Drug Court, and the thousands of programs it spawned touched over the past quarter century. Thank you for giving so many the life-saving miracle of Drug Court, a miracle that has not only saved 1.3 million people over the past 25 years, but a miracle that will continue for 25 years beyond now and 125 years beyond that. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Tim Murray. I'm often asked what lesson was learned from the Miami experience 25 years ago. And now I know what the answer is. Let me just, again, add my thanks to those who have spoken already on the absolute magic of the leadership of all of you in the room who have created this concept. God bless your work. I'm proud to be here representing the many thousands of successful graduates of the Miami-Dade County Drug Court. Imagine the world you're building through your efforts, a world with markedly reduced substance use disorders and markedly increased people in sustainable recovery and a world that is more productive, more peaceful, safer, and more fulfilling for all of our children and our children's children. It's the answer that you prove every single day you go to work. Um, I just want to say thank you for everything that you guys do. I celebrate 14 years clean and sober. I In short, you are the secret ingredients responsible for the awe-inspiring success of drug courts for these 25 years. Thank you all for doing what you do every day, and thank you for saving my life. Have a great conference. We all rise when drug court graduates go back to school or back to work, pay their taxes, and parent their children. Their success strengthens our communities, our nations. Their success makes it much harder to argue that treatment doesn't work and that drug courts don't work. Today is a celebration for many of the reasons why they do work. I owe drug court a debt of gratitude because I'll be celebrating two seminal events this year. August 4th, I'll be celebrating my 46th anniversary to my lovely wife, Lynn, who has stayed with me and endured this agony. And on December 8th, I will celebrate my 16th year of recovery. The stories of redemption, of family reunification, of reclaiming lives, of giving hope where there was no hope, they get to me. And yet, I travel all the way from the state of Georgia to California, and you put me through it again today. I want to thank each and every one of you for what you do. I want, to, I want to encourage you to keep doing what you do because it helps people like all of us and it saved my life 
and I've been sober since May 1st of 1998. If you'd have told me that 17 years ago, I would have said, no way. So thank you all. Drug court teaches all its participants that the only things we can ever truly possess are those things which we cherish and give away with love, including our precious time and talent. And in the end, we are made worthy of the long promised blessings reserved for those who do justice and show mercy. And we can help lift up people everywhere to that place where the heart is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depths of truth and tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sands of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom, dear Father. Let us all awake. Thank you very much. I won't give up if you don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. The answer is anything. Anything is possible. God bless you.